Today we will cover calibrating the Sentinel V compass using the optional calibration stand. The optional stand is not absolutely necessary, but it does allow the calibration to be easily done by one person. That person will have a calibration card, as you can see on the table, that contains all the instructions, calibration scoring, and a compass rose. We will use the stand for two reasons. One, it will get the Sentinel V away from any magnetic interference that may be in the ground. And two, it will allow us to easily rotate the Sentinel V. Today, we have the stand on a non-magnetic table. Regarding, regarding location, we have found that for best results, we calibrate the compass outdoors and away from any magnetic interference. My colleague Dan is going to go ahead and push the Sentinel V start button to wake it up. Dan is now establishing the wireless connection, which takes a few moments. Ready? He's opening a browser, entering the Sentinel V address, and waiting for Ready V to load. Ready? He'll click on the maintenance panel, click on compass where it shows the last calibration date. and click calibrate. Ready? Now let's set up, set up the table and the hardware. Let's pick our starting reference direction. This can be any arbitrary direction, but we have found from experience that it is easier when using one of the cardinal points, in particular north at zero degrees. Dan's going to orient the table so that one edge is pointing north-south. Good. Then he'll orient the edge of the stand so that it is parallel with the edge of the table. Note that the Sentinel V must be placed on the stand in the orientation of use during the upcoming deployment. In this case, it's looking down. During the calibration, we will be rotating the stand to all four cardinal points and also to 110, 160, 290, and 340 degrees. Be sure to use the fixture calibration card instructions and not the instructions in Ready V. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the calibration. We're pointed north already, but we need to set the calibration stand tilt to 40 degrees. Roll beam one up. Step back and take a sample. Done. Okay, now roll beam, he's gonna roll beam two up and point it at 90 degrees. Done. Now he'll roll beam one up and point the stand at 180 degrees. Now he'll roll beam 2 up and point the fixture at 270 degrees. Done. Okay, that's all for 40 degree tilt. Let's set up the calibration stand tilt to 65 degrees relative to vertical. Roll the instrument so beams 2 and 4 are up and point the stand at 110 degrees. He takes it to 90 and adds 20. Now he rolls beams 1 and 4 up and takes his second sample at this direction. Now he rolls beams 1 and 3 up and points the fixture at 160 degrees. There's 180 minus roughly 20. Puts us at 160. 
now two and three up and another at that direction now two and four up and go to 270 plus 20 Okay, leave it at that angle and roll one and four up. Okay, now we have beams one and three up and pointing at 340. There it goes, 360, take away 20. Now roll beams two and three up and leave it at 340 degrees and we'll take our last sample. Now Ready V will come up with some information about how well we calibrated. How'd we do, Dan? It's good. All right. 10, 10, 10. Well done. Thank you, Scott.